These are images of the modern sea floor. It is dominated by jawed fish, such as this shark, and more specifically, the bony jawed fish, the great diversity of teleos, which are the dominant fish today. Invertebrates, such as mollusks, arthropods, and the corals, which construct these coral reefs, are also dominant members of the modern sea floor. In the Cambrian period, which began 540 million years ago, there were no jawed fishes, no sharks, no bony fishes, no modern corals, no modern mollusks or arthropods. Given that there are no vertebrates, zero, which are known from the pre-Cambrian, and given that the very first vertebrates, which are also the very simplest fish, uh, appear in the early Cambrian, that means that somewhere in the early Cambrian, the earliest vertebrates evolved. The Cambrian is recognized as being divided into a number of stages. Not all of the Cambrian animals appeared at once. They uh, evolved slowly. And there are a number of potential ancestors, or at least the relatives of the ancestors of the first vertebrates, which are known from the early Cambrian. In addition to the odd Vetulicolians, whose phylogenetic position is not quite determined. There is debate as to whether they were uh, relatives of arthropods, an early idea, or basal deuterostomes, or basal cordates. Um, some have interpreted the fossils as possessing pharyngeal slits, which would be significant for vertebrates. In addition to these uncertain uh, organisms, uh, the early Cambrian includes Unanozoan, which is a hemichordate with pharyngeal slits. These slits, like those of modern hemichordates, like this acorn worm, are significant because while hemichordates use them in feeding, the first vertebrates would use them as gills for breathing. There are fossils in the early Cambrian which have been classified as urochordates. These are true chordates in modern members in addition to the pharyngeal slits which are present in the adults. Uh, the notochord is also present in the larva. Finally, there are examples of cephalochordates known from the early Cambrian. These small chordates possess a notochord, just as did uh, the first fish and primitive fish today. They use their pharyngeal slits as gills, just as fish do. They possess a post-anal tail, which would aid their locomotion. Fossils also suggest that an endostyle, the homologue of the pituitary gland, was present. Picaia from the Burgess Shale of Canada is known from the Middle Cambrian, which is slightly later than the first fish, so it would not have been ancestral. But nevertheless, from chordates such as this, it is thought that the earliest vertebrates evolved.